Hi everyone, I want to go ahead and demonstrate connecting a Google Sheet to your BigQuery database. So first off, um, I think it's important to think about where this, um, when and where this might be helpful to have your data live in a Google Sheet. So um, whenever you have data that's being updated frequently and um, uh, might have to be updated manually, this is a great option. Um, especially if you're working with with uh, other people that might be in charge of updating the data that aren't uh, particularly technical from a BigQuery uh, database standpoint. Um, it's great to have the data live in a Google Sheet. They can come in, update the data, and then all the, the updates are reflected within your table in BigQuery. So um, a great option there. So we'll go into BigQuery um, and create our table. So first off, we want to uh, determine what data set we want to create the table in. So um, we, uh, for this example, we're going to want to create it in match data. And um, once we're in the right data set, which we are, we will cr uh, click create table. So you just see a little plus icon here, select that. And we are going to want to select drive since um, that's where our Google Sheet is in. Go ahead and select the URL and then place it within the, the drive URI. And then from there, we're going to want to select CSV as the file format. Um, and I'll explain in a second why we select CSV. Um, so we'll go ahead and name the table. Countries TB. And we will select the auto schema detect. So the reason why we, why we did select CSV is for this feature right here. So um, it's going to be able to auto detect the, um, the columns and figure out what is the, um, what is the schema of the column. So um, obviously A and B are going to be string and then C is going to be integer. Um, and the reason why we have C in the first place is if we only had A and B since they're only string values, um, that's going to confuse BigQuery because it can't differentiate the, um, the, the field name, which is going to be row one from the rest of the data. So we want to have some other, some non-string um, numerical value live in another column so that it can do it can differentiate it so um, i just created a row count here and now when we go to create the table and have the the auto uh, schema um, detect selected uh, we're going to have no problems when it's um, defining the schema of the table so we'll go ahead and create Let's go to table and um, one thing to, to kind of call out here is um, we can see that the table contains no rows and you might see that and get um, kind of confused think that your table wasn't set up correctly but this is something that you have to keep in mind when you're creating a table as a Google Sheet the data does not actually live in your in the Bitcoin environment. It lives in your Google Sheet. So it's not going to be able to see any rows until runtime when you run your query. So when we actually go and run our query, there we go. There we go. Now it returns our data correctly. We can see we have uh, all the rows, um, all 68, and in Google Sheets we have 69. So the reason that's not 68 like we see um, from our query in, in BigQuery is it is counting row 1 as the, the field name. So it's, it's not actually counting those row uh, in the return values. Um, so this is going to be part one of um, my Google Sheet series. So 
Thanks for watching and uh, make sure to come back and check out some of the other videos I have on Google Sheets and BigQuery. Thanks for watching. Bye.